Hey, praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to the Breakthrough Church uh, with Senior Pastor Ever, myself, Pastor Clay, and the Breakthrough family. And we'd like to just welcome you to uh, just receive a fresh word today. It's truly honor and pleasure. I want to share something with you today called No Greater Love. And we're going to go briefly in detail with that. Let me open. Father, we thank you today for an awesome move. We bless you today for all your love and your mercy. We thank you for opening up heaven doors for us, Lord God, that your peace will move so strong and richly right now. To who's listening that need a word right now in the name of Jesus. We push back everything that don't belong to us today. In Jesus' name, amen. And I, I want to share with you a powerful word uh, today. And I think this word uh, has been misunderstood. And I want to clarify today from the word of God. And it's called love, right? And the message today is there's no greater love. And we're going to know why that is. So I want to share with you out of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and 5. And this is what it says. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them with, as you sit at home, and when you walk along the road, when you lie down, and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands, and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Let me translate that for you. It's a reason why God said he want us to love, love him with our whole hearts, right? And I'm going to tell you why. Because in that love, it's a special love. It's not the love that the world gives. In that, in that love, there's a covering. And that covering, when we operate out of the godly love, God has our back in every realm. See, to the world, it may look like uh, we're weak when we uh, still loving. Even though we're going through the fire, we still loving God. But it's not a weakness. It's a strength. See, it's not us that's going to bring us out of anything. And I need to understand that. It's God that's going to bring us out. But I must position myself as God give me the command what to do because he's given me a command to be covered. And when I step outside of that covering, guess what? I'm on my own. I'm on my own. So he, he went on to say the reason that the Lord loved, your, Lord, loved the Lord with, with everything you have, your heart and with your soul and with your strength. See, that's why he says that um, my, my grace is sufficient in your weakness. See, it's not me that's going to do these things. I, I really need to get that about this love. It's when I get closer to God, I begin to love better. I begin to, to love other people better. I begin to walk in what God has called me to be. The difference today is, is that the love of the world is not the love of God. See, we use the term love real lightly today, right? But love do not get jealous of you. Love do not talk about you. Love do not want to crush you and you've been a blessing to them. That's not the love of God. And that's a red flag. And this applies in every realm of our life, in relationships, business relationships, or whatever relationships we're going through when we got hurt in the past. It lets us know that it wasn't the love of God. So how do I deal with that when I know it wasn't the love of God? Do I take it personal and I continue to run with it? Or do I look at it and say, whoa, I see why bad company corrupts good character now. I see why. I see why I'm hurt and I'm still holding on to stuff from my past somebody done to me. I see why I'm stuck and I don't want to move forward and let go because I'm hurt. And I'm not walking totally in the love of God. And this is a process. It's not a motion movie. It's a process. So I have to grow into this. And as I continue to read my word, as I continue to read my Bible, as I continue to pray, as I continue to fellowship with other believers that are growing, I begin to grow too. See, the word love is not the, the, the word that the world is going on today. See, it's not the love of God when you say you love me because what I do for you. That's part of manipulation. That's what that is. 
If you can't do this for me, I can't love you. That's not the love of God. The love of God is a conditional love, right? Even though I may not agree with you and think, but I still love you. Why? Because I got the love of God in me. That doesn't mean also that if you're abusive to me, that I stay around for you to continue to be abusive to me. But I'm going to still love you from a distance. See, once I check that area in my life pertaining to my relationship with, with God and, and, and Jesus is the head of my life. Then I become an individual that's walking around filled with this love that I'm talking about from God. I'm not what he said in Mark chapter 16, because he said in Mark chapter 16, he said, those who believe and in his baptized will be saved. That's what he said. And those that don't will be condemned. It's like a huge building with all the windows broke out. Wind is blowing to and fro, And some people are afraid to go past the building because it looks so like that. That's how we are when we don't have the love of God. We, manip we manipulate people. We, we say we love you, but yet, where is the sacrificial sacrifice that pertaining to what do I do to show that I love you? Not just what I say, because the world used the word love as what they say, but not what they do. True love is the love that one laid his life down for a friend. And this is the love that is so hard for a lot of people to grasp because they trying to grasp this understanding of this area of God pertaining to love in their intellect. And I cannot understand God in my intellect because my intellect only goes so far but I understand it in the spirit. Well, how do you get the spirit? It's called the Holy Spirit. It's not an it, it's a he. He's alive and well. And when I receive him, heaven doors become open to me. And I get glimpses of what God is saying. I don't get the whole picture because if he gave me the whole picture, uh, so, you know, I might get scared. He give me glimpses of the understanding of his love. Most of the time that love will be tested when we in the midst of the fire. When someone uh, say things about us or some things that people do that really get sun in our skin and we know we've been a blessing. Where do I stand then with this love? So I want to encourage you something, a real powerful key today. Check out, take a moment, we're not in condemnation here, so meaning that we're not saying, oh, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. I'm, no, 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 we ain't talking about that. This moment, evaluate your process of what your definition is of the love of God for you. Because if it's not the love that brings a peace, then I need to check that out. Because any time that I sit up under the covering of God's love, there's always going to be a peace pertaining to the big picture. I may have to go through some things and I have to learn how to master my emotions with the love of God. Doesn't mean that I'm a doormat. Don't mean that you just walk over me. No. But his love is so great. So if you're around people that's telling you they love you and they're showing difference, now you know the difference between true love. And that's the love of God, and nothing can copy it. There are so many portals right now open on the earth that's using the word love that's getting in, destroying people. Because they are like that bandit building, empty without Jesus. So please do take this moment to just evaluate, and that's Deuteronomy chapter 6 as well. Go over that. Uh, also, John chapter 15 and 13, where he said, there's no greater love than this that one will lay down his life for a friend. What am I laying down today for a friend? Do I have the patience? Do I have the time? Bless you all. We bless you. Have a nice holiday. My name is Pastor Clay.